if more people knew how important this vitamin is for our health and well-being, I am sure that more people would make sure that they get enough of it every day. Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Christina and I work as a naturopath. And today I'm going to share with you five things that I think you should know about this water-soluble vitamin that also have given name to my YouTube channel. That is B1. Also make sure that you listen to the end of this video because then I'm going to share with you a few tips how you yourself in an easy way can test yourself if you are lacking in this vitamin B1. If you don't get enough B1, you, the first sign you have is that you get tired. That is because B1 is so important for the energy production in the body. In our cells, we have the energy stations called mitochondria. The mitochondria need oxygen, water and nutrition every day to produce energy. And if they don't get enough B1, it's difficult for them to produce energy and we will become very tired. It will also affect our sleep. When the energy station don't work uh, optimal, it will also uh, can lead to insomnia and problems with sleeping. And what's very interesting, this is not only with B1, but with most B vitamins, they are very important for our mental health. So if you're lacking B1, you can get depressed, worried, and uh, have anxiety attacks and feel more irritated than usual. Number two, the nervous system. B1 is very important for the nerves. To have healthy nerves, we need enough B1 every day. And they need it to make the protective coating around the nerves they call the myelin sheets. And neuro neuropathy, that is uh, when you have pain in your nerve endings and when they don't function uh, as they should, that can be a sign of B1 deficiency. So that leads to tingling and numbness in hands and feet, in fingers and toes. Also nerve pain, so all people also with neurological uh, diseases should definitely take extra B1, very important for the nerves. Can also lead to vertigo, dizziness, problem with the ears, recurrent ear infections, ringing in the ear can be due to the nerve endings in the ears doesn't get enough B1. Also, nerve endings goes into the eyes, a lot of fine nerves there. And so if you don't have enough, it can lead to problem with your eyes. The third one is heart and vascular system. They also need B1. If you have a big deficiency of B1, eventually it will lead to a disease called beriberi. That was more common a long time ago. Now we make sure that we get enough B1. It's also called thiamine. But the beriberi can either be a, a, a kind that affect the nervous system or it can affect your heart and vascular system. So it's very important to keep a healthy heart and vascular system that you get enough B1. Otherwise it can um, show up as heart palpitation, racing heart or racing pulse that you have re very high pulse rate. The fourth one is digestive system needs B1. So if you don't have enough of this vitamin, it uh, will affect the metabolism of the carbohydrates because to be able to break down your carbohydrates that you eat throughout the day, you need B1. Also with the acid, problems with acid reflux can be due to the lack of B1 because B1 helps you to create the uh, uh, stomach acid. And that is very important to break down your food and to kill bacteria and parasites in your stomach and not to get the acid reflux. A lot of people think it's due to too much stomach acid, but it's actually the opposite that is true. That you have too little because then also the valve, esophageal valve doesn't close properly when you have too little stomach acid. So you need B vitamins to get enough stomach acid to digest your food. So of course then if you can't digest your food properly and you can't digest your carbs properly, it can also lead to a swollen stomach that you feel more swollen, a distended stomach after you eat in a meal.
it can also lead to constipation. So your digestive system will absolutely be affected when you have too low B1. And the fifth one I wanted to mention is breathing problem. They can be due to, uh, to lack of B1 because B1 is very important for us to breathe properly, to get enough oxygen. Uh, it can also be like when you have ear hunger that you take a breath and you feel you can't get enough air in. That can be a sign of B1 deficiency. Also sleep apnea, that's a serious condition when you're snoring a lot at night and sometimes you have these periods where you don't breathe be between the snorings and that leads to uh, too little oxygen to the brain and it also makes you very tired when you wake up in the morning so you don't get a proper sleep when you have sleep apnea. That can absolutely be affected or B1 deficiency. And also if you eat a lot of carbohydrates during the day, or especially if you eat a lot of carbs before you go to bed, that can worsen this condition. Also, of course, it's a lot of other things uh, that is affected. B1 is such an important, it's one of the most important vitamins because it affects our body in so many ways. A lot of people are not aware that they are deficient, but it affects, as you can see, our health in so many ways. So other things that it can show up is uh, fibromyalgia, thyroid problems, bad memory, or difficulty learning new things, both in young and older people. Also, when you have no tears or no sweat, or it can also show as profuse sweating, that can be a sign of B1 deficiency. Uh, restless legs is usually due to lack of minerals, but B1 is also needed to be able to break down the lactic acid and not to have these restless legs at night. So, not only do you need to make sure you get enough B vitamins and B1 every day, but you can also look at things that drain your body from B1. So sugar and alcohol is the main one. If you have them every day or when you have them, the body will use up the B1 because it's needed to break, break down the carbs in this. So if you keep having it without adding B1, of course, you will have a lack of this vitamin. Also, all the carbohydrates will use up your B1 and you're going to need extra. Especially, usually it's also um, talked about the white rice because when they first discovered the beriberi, it was with people eating a lot of white rice because when you're taking the husk of the rice, uh, you, you also take off all the B vitamins that you need with that. So it's just uh, like pure sugar, uh, fast carbohydrates that drain your body will be one. A lot of medicine, pharmaceutical drugs, can drain your body will be one. And so when you take these medicines, make sure you get that extra supplement that you take extra. So metformin is a medicine that are used for people with diabetes type two. Uh, so then you need extra B1, but also remember people with diabetes usually need like 15 times more B1 than other people because it has to do with the carbohydrate metabolism. Also contraceptive pills and acids uh, and diuretics, they all drain your body from B1 and make sure you get extra. Tea, coffee, chocolate also drain your body from B1. Also people with gastric bypass, that makes it harder for the body to absorb this vitamin. So also they need to take extra to make sure all the cells get enough of this vitamin. And the main one for all of us is stress. Stress doesn't only deplete us from B1, but all the B vitamins are quickly reduced during periods of stress. Physical, emotional and mental stress all drain the body. So that's definitely a, a, a time when you need to make sure you take extra. So how can you test yourself if you're lacking this important vitamin? Well, the first thing you can do and the easiest thing you can do is to take extra B1 and see if you feel better. Usually only in a few days you will feel more energy. You will feel better when you start adding this vitamin. That, of course, will show um, that it was B1 you were lacking. Uh, also remember with 
when you take blood tests, it's very hard to discover a B1 deficiency because it won't show up in the blood test because they are needed with the enzyme activity within the cell. So to take extra is a quicker and cheaper way to do it. The other thing you can do is also check your calf muscles. If they swollen or a bit sore when you press them, that can also be a sign that you are lacking B1. So these were the five things I think everybody should know about B1, that it's so important for your energy production within your cells. It's important to have a healthy nervous system, heart and vascular system. It's important for your digestive system and also to have a good breathing, to breathe properly throughout the day and so much more. It's a watertight, soluble um, vitamin, so you need to take it every day, but also make sure not to only take B1, take it with the whole B complex. From B1 to B12, make sure you get a supplement that contains them all in the right balance because that will increase the effect on each and every one of them. And also make sure you choose a nutritional supplement with high bioavailability so you can make sure that it really reaches into your cell on the cellular level where they are needed. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you soon again. Have a good day. Thank you.